If there's one word to describe arm fat, it would have to be stubborn. And no matter how much you control your diet or cut back on dessert, arm fat still seems to stay. Irritating, right? But before figuring out a way to reduce flabby arms muscles, it's important to know what leads to the accumulation of arm fat. What causes arm fat? If you think you are the only one facing this problem, know that you are not alone. Arm fat is just one of those things caused by the onset of aging. As you grow older, your metabolic rate decreases and if you aren't following a physically active lifestyle, the excess fat could get stored in your arms. It is possible to make your arms look more toned, even when there is excess fat covering the muscles. Weightlifting, resistance training, burns more fat than cardio does and raises your metabolism for a while after your workout. Weight training has an effect on the skin elasticity in the area that you are working on. The muscles in the arms that you want to really hammer are your biceps and triceps, particularly the triceps. When you are exercising, your muscles get tired. Either they are simply fatigued or you work them so hard that they do not work anymore. Well, they may not work for a brief time. This is called muscle failure. It is what you want. That is how you build strength in a muscle. You take your muscles to failure. Most people think you do not want to do this, that it is bad to work a muscle so hard that it stops working. No, you want to do that. Do not worry. Your muscles will work again in about 30 seconds. They will be really sore the next day or two, but most likely you will like the feeling. If only reducing arm fat was as easy as just controlling your diet. While eating right is one half of the entire process, you have to pay equal attention to exercising as well. Here are some easy exercises to follow for desired results. First exercise is arm circles. Arm circle is an easy exercise and is mostly done as a warm-up before any strenuous exercise such as strength training. Practicing arm circles targets your triceps, back biceps and shoulders. Practicing it daily will first reduce arm fat followed by toning of muscles. The arm circle is a non-weighted exercise targeting the shoulders. It involves extending your arms to the sides and drawing small circles in the air with your hands. It is common in warm-ups for both training and athletics, and is often performed simply until someone feels a burn, rather than for a set amount of reps. To perform, stand with your feet slightly apart. Stretch your arms out to each side and ball your hands in fists. Begin rotating your fists to get your arms in clockwise motion. Do this until you rotate it 20 times. Now do it anti-clockwise 20 times. Second exercise is triceps dips. The triceps dip exercise is a great bodyweight exercise that builds arm and shoulder strength. This simple exercise can be done almost anywhere and has many variations to match your fitness level. Use it as part of an upper body strength workout. Find a suitable chair, bed or bench for this exercise. The height of the chair bench matters a lot. It has to be at least 2 feet higher than the ground. Sit at the edge of the chair, bench and place your arms behind you or at the edge of the seat. Make sure that the distance between your arms is shoulder width apart. With your back in an upright position, sit at the very edge of the seat, with your legs stretched out in front of you. Bend your elbows to a 90 degree angle and slowly lower your lower body off the seat and towards the ground. Hold this pose for a few seconds and remember to regulate your breathing. Take a few deep breaths. It will help you maintain the pose without exerting yourself. Straighten your arms again and push your body up again, do not sit on the chair yet. Do 3 sets of 20 reps daily for effective results in reducing arm fat. Third exercise is wall push-ups. Wall push-ups work your standard muscle groups like your triceps, pecs, and the anterior deltoids that help you with the movement of your shoulder. It also engages your core muscles like abs, back and hips to keep you stable when you are exercising. When you put this all together these muscles help you with your functional movement like pushing, shoving and throwing. A wall push-up is a less demanding variation of your standard push-ups. It's for people who don't have the necessary upper body strength but want to start to work on it. The wall push-up will help to get you a foundation to move forward on to start on more muscle-demanding exercises like the standard push-up. 
Stand facing a wall with your legs slightly apart. Stretch your arms out in front of your chest with palms touching the wall. Bend forward towards the wall so your elbows fold at the bottom and your body in diagonal position standing on your tiptoes with your heels raised. Push back from the wall again straightening your arms and standing back on heels. Repeat these motion 20 times. Just because you are not walking around with cut arms just yet doesn't mean you can't get there. So now you know, how to rid of those saggy arms and bat wings. Go out there and transform and do let us know the results in the comment section below.